Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use the perspective tool in GIMP in order to make a image that you import onto a scene look like it belongs in the scene as an actual object. So in this case, I'm going to be taking this desktop background image that you can see is just a basic rectangle and making its shape um, basically conform more so to this laptop image. Uh, monitor in the background because if you look at the laptop screen here you can see that it's a little bit larger on top and a little bit smaller on bottom and that's all because of perspective so what we need to do is we need to take the four corners of this image and uh, shape it so that it's much more in line with the laptop monitor to make it look like it's the true uh, desktop on that screen so in order to do this you can find the perspective tool in the toolbox and once you have it selected, just go ahead and click on the image you want to modify. Um, now, here, a uh, little bit of a weird thing is whenever you have the image you're modifying in the top layer, it's going to kind of leave behind the uh, shadow of what's there previously. And how I can get around that is while I have uh, the perspective tool on that layer, I'm just going to move that layer down so that when we adjust these four corners, it's not going to leave behind uh, basically the previous image or the current image unmodified and so that we can see in the background where the laptop monitor is and that helps us out a lot because we want to get these four corners as accurate as possible so just dragging and dropping these corners of course you want to spend a little bit of time and get this as perfect as possible and yep just eyeballing it here Okay, and that looks pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and hit transform. And now we can move that image back up to the top layer and see how it went. Uh, obviously, there's a little bit of a uh, graphical issue in the bottom left-hand corner there, so I'm going to use the perspective tool one more time to change that. And we'll transform again. Okay, still a little bit. So one more time, very much trial and error. You can also hit uh, Control Z to undo if you think this might be stretching it in some weird ways. Okay, so now we can see it with the image on top of it. And let's show before and after. It's not perfect, of course, but it is pretty darn close to looking like that desktop is actually in the computer or on the computer screen there in the background. So this is one use you can use for the perspective tool. So I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, consider donating down below and I'll see you in my future videos.